Now, if you're a cruising boater, one of the first options or toys you add to your boat, obviously, is a tender or an inflatable for your boat. Another market for boats like this is obviously people with smaller vehicles that don't have a big towing rating, maybe a thousand pounds. A rigid inflatable boat is a great alternative if you have that small car. Now there's a lot of choices on the market, but we're going to take a look at a boat that is pretty handy in a variety of different ways. And of course it's Highfield's CL340. If you need a boat to tow behind a compact car or to use as a tender for a cruiser, the logical choice has always been a rigid inflatable boat or rib. They have been hugely popular in Europe for some time. When I had my cruiser, I had a 10 and a half foot rib that I used both for both the tender and trailering and enjoyed it immensely for many years. A welded aluminum hull rather than fiberglass reinforced plastic or polyester resin hull FRP makes this high field CL340 very light. The result is a substantially stronger hull as well. It's ready to take the abuse of beaching on sand, gravel or rock. The two and a half millimeter thick marine grade aluminum is welded, primed with zinc chromate, powder coated and baked. Every high field rib has a standard keel guard. The Classic Lines tube fabric is Valmex PVC with welded, not glued seams. The tubes are 44 centimeters or 17 inches in diameter with flush non-return valves. Hypalon fabric is also optional. The hull has a self-draining deck, a forward locker with a seat cushion for the portable gas tank and a bow anchor locker. The Classic 340 is offered with a single seat forward and the remaining passengers are to sit on the tubes. The boat is powered with a tiller steer outboard. Other standard features are the bridle tow eyes, lifting points, and additional tow eyes, an under the seat storage bag, dry bag, oars with inside storage points, foot pump, and a repair kit. Being lighter, you can run a smaller outboard and benefit from a larger payload or add some practical options. The length and lightweight of our test boat allowed for the optional FCT console and bench seat the ideal package if you spend a lot of time on the water. The seat with backrest has room for two, provides storage in the base, and in combination with the helm wheel and side mounted controls is decidedly more user friendly. A Yamaha F20 with electric start and power tilt moved this CL340 with reasonable authority. I was impressed with the hull design of this small rib. With a 20 horsepower four stroke outboard, the additional console and seat and virtually nothing but half a tank of fuel forward, bow rise was absolutely minimal and it was on plane quickly. The CL340 topped out at a quite respectable 24 miles per hour, but would be more efficient at 15 to 18 miles per hour. Tossing the rib aggressively into turns across its own wake surprised me. Most small ribs will become unsettled and skip sideways, not the high field. It just continued on smoothly through the turns. 